here we go. What's going on, everybody? Morning, afternoon, good evening. Isaac, my man, dropping 1,500 stars right off the bat. Says, get well soon, buddy. What he says, thank you, Isaac. You're the man. Thank you so much. That'll help towards all my medical bills. And uh, I got a big fat chin, as you can see, because it's all swollen. And I'm bud. Hi. Right. <laughs> He's like, all right, I'm getting the hell out of here. Quit being weird, Dad. All right, let's see who do we got here. We got Shane, Eric, AJ, Brandon, Julia. Julia, how you feeling? Hope you're feeling better. Cassie, James, Josh, Lewis, uh, Mike, Isaac, my man, of course. Ace, what's going on? I'm drinking coffee out of my It's Bud brand coffee cup. <laughs> can't even talk. I'm still waking up here a little bit, guys. Second cup. All right. Aaron, what's going on, man? Welcome. Probably really should have started my software for the camera. No, I guess it's moving all right now. It's got to wake up a little bit here, too. Richard, what's going on, brother? From the UK? Evening. Yeah, there you go. Evening in the UK. <clears throat> Raymond, Anthony. What's going on? All right, here we go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. My man, Khan. Got, getting the Star Trek mod going on. He got the uh, the Star Trek mod that I was showing you guys before um, with the Sins of a Solar Empire. Today, we're going to jump into some Castle Story, though. This is a really cool game. Um, this isn't going to be for everybody. This is going to be a top-down style game. And let me jump in a channel. We'll do new game. Okay, so basically this is going to be like a top-down uh, style game where you're going to be controlling um, these little people. As you can see, there's this little uh, yellow guy right here. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you're going to be controlling them, and basically what you're going to be having them do is build the castle. Now, you can just do this in creative mode, and you can just go in and have them build huge elaborate structures. Or you can do this in a conquest mode, where you'll start off in a corner of the map, the enemies start out in a corner of the map, and you got to try to take over the whole map and defeat them. Or you can play it in a holdout type of game. Brandy, what's going on? Potato, my man. I watched that clip several times, by the way, when you shot Buddy Guy in the back of the head. <laughs> Good stuff. Um, but yeah, you could do like a holdout type of situation where you're going to just build and try to defend and there's going to be waves that are going to keep coming at you every so often and uh, see how long you can last. Now, the cool thing about Castle Story is you can play this co-op. I can't tell you how many times when I was a kid and I was playing like Command and Conquer with my buddies, right? It, we would always be like, man, it'd be so cool if we could just work as one army and one of us could work on, you know, like gathering uh, resource and then somebody else could work on building the army. And then, you know, when someone goes to do an attack, one person could stay back and manage the base. In this game, you can do that. You can be as one um entity in in the sorts where you have to share the troops and everything but multiple people can work on the same base and i think that is awesome absolutely amazing about this game all right let's get started justin what's going on brother morning 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 everybody afternoon justin you're probably down in florida still so yeah it's afternoon for you holy freaking shit Dude, Benjamin, are you serious? This guy is throwing a freaking transformer with a flamethrower right there. 5,000 stars, first time star sender. Benjamin, thank you so much, dude. That is awesome. I will help you one way or another. Brother, thank you so much, man. That is freaking amazing right there. Thank you, bro. Awesome, awesome stuff. Man, good stuff right there. Thank you again. David dropping his one year, two month supporter anniversary. Isaac came in with a nine month supporter anniversary before that. Appreciate both of you guys. That's both a really long time, especially David. I think that's uh, as soon as I got supporter status. I believe that's when that's from right there. Justin just got back last night. All right, good to hear that you guys are back safe. Okay, so here we go. Um, 
Let me go in here really quick because it looks like we're not in full screen. Oh, there we go. Now we are. Okay, so we got single player, multiplayer, world editor, credit island. Oh, it's just where you look at the credits of the uh, the people that made the game. So we're gonna go into single player, and what should we start off with here? Um, hey, Lindsay, what's going on? Where's your dad at? Tell him to get in here. He's got to check out these uh, little. Yellow people. Alright, I guess we'll do Conquest to start off. This will last longer than Invasion. Because I might get... The first wave might come and just kill me, so... So we got User Generated, Official, Steam Workshop. So obviously there's going to be a lot of choices of uh, places you can go. Stepping stones. I don't know. Uh, big island. We'll go to Apex. Screw it. David, um, I mean, we're not seeing any huge improvement with Buddy, uh, right now. Uh, I mean, he's still in good spirits, he still seems healthy and everything like that, it's just this... ...swelling on his face is just kinda staying at a point. So, we need to get that down. It needs to start going away. Zach says, I wanna try this out. Potato. Brother, this is cool stuff, man, I'm telling you. <clears throat> Gina, what's going on? It's me, the pain in the ass. You get my messages, 50 stars. About the clothing, yes, I believe I did. And I will check that out later. But right now we're doing some gaming. Controlling some little castle people. Why is this taking so long to enter the game right now? No allergies or nothing? Um, no. I mean, nothing really changed, you know? Uh, blood work came back like normal. Um, had a, he has a hyperthyroid, <clears throat> so that's one thing that he's on medication now. We're trying to get that taken care of. Alright, so here we go. These are our little guys. You can see them right here. Why do they all look so pissed off? Dude, don't worry. It's gonna get better, brother. All right, so anyways, here we are. This is where we start. What the hell? I gotta maximize the screen. Okay. All right, let me look around here for a minute. Okay, so you can see this is basically the island that we're gonna be on. The enemies are probably over here or something like that. This is a windy ass map. So this is like the main entrance right here, it looks like. That's where we need to defend. Pretty much right here. Okay, all right, let's get started here because uh, we're slacking. All right, right off the bat, <clears throat> we need to get some buildings going here. We need to get some, uh, God dang it, I got something in my eye. I gotta chop down some trees. Tell these guys to go over here and start chopping. Okay, so these things right here that I'm building, this is going to be uh, your stockpiles. That's where your supplies are going to get uh, placed. 
So we need to get these guys chopping these trees down. So this guy can come over here. He turns the logs into these boards. The boards are then turned into uh, where they keep those supplies. Nice. Sheldon's played the game before. He says it's great. Yep, I've had this game for a long time, and uh, I kind of forgot about it. And then I was just looking through my list last night. I happened to look at it, and I was like, oh, yeah, you know what? Let's go back and look at Castle Story. And uh, when I was looking at the latest news for the game, actually, I guess last Friday, uh, they did a thing where it was come out and play multiplayer with the devs of the game. So that's pretty cool. So they must have, uh, you know, an active community and things going on now. Alright, let's get a thing harvest. That way they start harvesting. All that crap. And we need to get that accepted. Four guys are going to go on that. <clears throat> now you can see, I didn't have to tell them to do that. I think the way that it works out is if you have like idle workers and you set up a new task, I believe those idle idle uh, workers will get sent to do that task. It used to be really kind of messed up the way that this game worked. It was like a lot of times your guys would just stand around. They wouldn't do anything. It's like you'd be giving them orders and it just seemed like the... The code just wasn't really optimized, but um, I was messing around with this last night, and it seems like it's definitely running a lot better and working pretty well. All right, we need to get a loom going. changes we need to get somebody to build that loom then they'll use these plant fibers to create ropes and then we can use that to create bows uh, bows and arrows and also we can start uh, collecting this iron speaking of which we need to we need to get a furnace going Get two furnaces going. <clears throat> we need to tell them to make rope. Uh, we'll tell them both to make rope for now. Tell him to make an archer kit. Tell that one to make uh, the was a halbert kit. Nice, Lindsay. Little sister Katie is watching. Awesome. Jason says he's getting on GTA tonight, or today. You should do the casino heist with some friends. I don't really play GTA Online anymore, brother. I just do the 5M. Oh, I just noticed. I'm like green when I'm close to the screen. <laughs> All right, these guys, these guys got things going pretty well here. I'm trying to think. Um, we need to start getting some stone. This is all like an enclosed area, right? Or can they sneak around? Oh, they can come all the way around here. Come around. Shit. So it's not like it's just defend the center point. This is closed off, but we could actually build a bridge over to there. Alright, we need to get a, uh, we gotta get a quarry built. Maybe 
that's it for right now. Cassie, um, so the RP class was good last night. It's just, it was a little chaotic because I didn't keep everyone muted and there was a lot of people that were talking and really getting off base, like getting off topic. You know what I mean? A lot of people just wanted to put in like their two cents and things like that. And it was kind of like, you know, we need people to stay focused on the fact that we're trying to learn how to do roleplay better right now. Not necessarily like discussing how things are uh, some of the policies that are, like, out on the server, and just gen just talking in general. You know, like, I, I love, you know, coming together as a community and everybody able to talk and share ideas, but when we're doing, like, a class, it's kind of like, it needs to be a lot more structured, I think. And, uh, I was kind of just counting on people, um, <laughs> being, like, patient and respectful, in a way. <laughs> And we just had people that were running around, people were in cars, and they were driving, and you know, just all this different sort of stuff. Actually, we had one guy last night, he was being such an issue. And we were all really getting like, irritated with the fact that he just couldn't just sit there and listen and stop talking over people. Uh, he actually messaged somebody else and was like, oh, I'm not coming back to the server anymore. We were all like, good. <laughs> that makes things easier. It's like it was a voluntary thing. Like, nobody's forced to come to this class. You know what I mean? If you want to come, you want to check it out, you want to try to learn a little bit more than what you already know about roleplay, that's what it's all about. So that's going to be our front wall right there. You can see these guys are stacking up the bricks, or the blocks. They're going to start bringing them over. We got a new warrior that we can spawn, or a new guy. Uh, let me see here. What do we really need right now? We got to keep pulling in the, uh, the iron. Play Black Ops Zombies. I mean, way back in the day. Nice, Lindsay. How you doing, Katie? I'm glad you like the game. It's pretty cool. You gotta tell your dad to get it for you. Kind of a door going here. <clears throat> the hell was that sound? Oh, you know what that was? That was the uh, enemy taking over a new point. That's what that was. Guys, focused on uh, getting these sets built. Oh, 
boy, we don't want to do that. I should have had to go on the inside there or just leave it the way it is. All right, now what we can do is we can get let's see, we got them right over here. See, if we build those stairs, we almost want to have this back, though. Let me see. Build it like that. And then what we'll do is this will be this will be like a walkway. You can actually do this with wood rather than putting down like stone. There's a lot of there's a lot you can get into this and really get into the building aspect of things. So we're going to put those like little awnings or those little, uh, I don't even know what you want to call that. Just so that that way an archer can stand out to the side of it and shoot like arrows down. Actually, maybe I should get rid of this one and this one. That way it gives them a little bit more range or room. Then what we'll do is we'll cap this off. I can't build that yet because it's not complete. Or actually, you know what? Maybe you got to do it like that. That's probably why. All right, let me see. What are these guys doing? So we got an arrow set built. They got one of those built. What are we missing, though? What do they need? Oh, okay, I see. Oh, we never told this to, uh, that's why. We never told the forge what to build. We needed to tell it to build iron. That is what was holding us up right there. Alright, get, let's tell this guy to keep bringing the iron in, actually. Oh, shit! Come on, come on, come on. Oh, no, no, no. You're telling me we don't have the set complete. Shit. Oh, my gosh, get out of there. We 
got to keep this iron coming in. Got to get that built. Why aren't they crafting these? Brother, work on this. Get iron taken. Take, take the iron there. I don't get it. I don't understand why they're not building that. Mikey, what's going on, brother? Welcome, man. Welcome. I'm playing some uh, castle story, man. Castle story. As a king, you should be able to uh, appreciate this. I just don't know why these guys won't build this iron, though. Oh, we need brimstone. That's why. I had no idea. Get this shit. Come on, come on, come on. Hurry. Come on, 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 come on. Ah, forget this. Come on, guys. Get this going. Everybody, start getting your little pickaxes out. Mine this shit. Can't reach the destination. Dude. Yes. There we go. Now we're going to be cooking. There we go. Smoke is a billowing. Ed, what's going on, brother? Yeah, this is a little uh this is a little unknown gem of a game here. So I was like, you know what? I should stream this so that more people can see this cool little game. I was saying earlier, the thing that I really like about this game is that if you do, when you do like multiplayer, um, you know, me and somebody else could be managing this one base together. You know what I mean? We'd have to split up the troops. You know, you get these guys, I get those guys, or not necessarily the troops, but uh, the workers. But uh, it'd be it's really cool because you know that way if um, we're building up like some military people. One of us could go out and start attacking the enemy. One of us could stay and work on defense, and one of us could be over here working on the base and keeping production going. So that way we could all work together as a team. That's the cool aspect of this. Uh, I remember when I used to play like Command and Conquer back in the day, me and my buddies would always think it'd be really cool if we could have maintained one base together. You know, like play it like co-op. Maple story. That sounds familiar, but I don't know. The peasants. There you go, Spartacus. Perfect. <laughs> That's actually perfect. What made you pick the name Rhino? Oh, there's a whole story about that, brother. But basically, uh, back in the day, like my early days of video games, I always remember all like the, all the 
really good players all had like these simple but unique names that always kind of just like were easy to remember. They kind of like just stuck out in your head, you know what I mean? And I was trying to come up with a name like that. I was thinking about like an animal name or something. And the whole white rhino thing was always in the news about how there was only, at the time, I think there was like 15 white rhinos left alive or something. Spartacus, absolutely, brother. That's one of my favorites. All of the Tiberian Sun games were my favorite in the Command & Conquer series. But yeah, I just decided to go with White Rhino for whatever reason. Now, here we are. Is that not complete? Oh, it's not complete. That's why. Alright, the defensive front here is looking pretty good. Just get this wall a little bit higher. Uh, so like I was saying before, there are multiple ways to set this kind of stuff up too. Um, I'm just building this all out of stone, but you can get into doing stuff with wood. Uh, and you could do like these wood beams where you would, uh, attach wood out of the side. And then you could build like, uh, wooden plat platforms, stuff like that. The, the wood takes a little bit of time to learn how to get it all set up really good. Bud, what's going on, brother? So I usually just stick with the stone. Now you'll see that won't be high enough for them to get to the next level, but what we'll do is... Um... We'll sit one block like that. Sit one like that. Leave that like that for now. Looks like we're out of brimstone. We gotta get more, um... Brian, my man! It says, dude, you are the man dropping 100 stars right there. Brother, you're the man. Got that one year anniversary badge right there. Appreciate it. All right, we're gonna get those extra supply things built or uh, supply things. Oh, come on, Rhino, stockpile. Learn your words. Let's tell this guy to get over here and get on this brimstone. Uh, this guy can build these other stockpiles. It looks like we need more wood. Let's tell this guy to go chop a tree down. Gotta get another cup of coffee.
Well, what's going on, brother? How you doing, man? Welcome, welcome. Appreciate the share. Blarg. Why is why is someone not working on uh this brimstone? Dude, focus, focus, focus. No, no, no! What are you doing? Stop fighting me! Tell this guy. And this guy. Dude, get- you son of a bitch. Can't harvest. Why? Why can't you harvest? Because you got this stupid block? Okay, put that shit down. Get over here with your little pickaxe and dig that. Man, it's so hard to get him to dig that stuff. Nope, look, he didn't- he, you were digging. Put that down. Keep digging. You, get over here. You're gonna dig too. Everybody's gonna dig. We're gonna get some of this stockpiled. No, not the tree. Nope, nope, nope. Put it down, you bastard. <laughs> Stop. They are so annoying. Nice. Got us a new guy. You can see we can have this guy put on, um, he can put on the helmet and, uh, be set up for, like, a, uh, Military or you know a warrior This thing will listen to me Hmm He like won't put it away It's weird. It's acting like it's full all of a sudden Good lord, Brian. <laughs> My man. Brian, that is epic right there. Drop it a thousand stars. Says, dude, I love farming sim because of you. That is great, brother. Sending in a trophy full of stars. Thank you for the thousand, Brian. I'm glad you're enjoying the farming sim. I got hooked on that for a little while myself. The beatings will continue until morale for our morale improves. Brother, sometimes you gotta, uh, you know, beat your peasants to get them to do what you gotta get them to do. Okay, there. He took off the helmet. Now we can come over here. We should be able to put on... No, the archery set isn't complete yet. What is the deal with that? Oh! We're getting attacked. Where's this at? Ah, they're at the front door! so hard on that you son of a bitches put on that armor set get over here put on an armor set get back over here here's a question for all you real-time strategy fans out there what's it called when you move one when you move your guy back like that so that the same person doesn't just keep getting attacked and attacked and die. You know, you move your weak guys back. There's a 
term for that. See, like, this guy's getting hit, move him back, spread the damage. This guy's getting hit a little bit, then you spread the damage, move him back. Then he didn't even get an extra hit on him. Oh my god! The ruins! Shit! Gotta get people down here and clean this up. Tell these guys to put their armor sets away. Huh? What you Castle story. Are cute. Shit, why don't they put this away? Do it! Do it! So annoying. Uh, yeah. It's, in, it's also in... It's also, yeah, it's also in Unity. Oh. <laughs> Put it away. <laughs> this is one of the things about this game that kind of drives you crazy is, like, sometimes the guys won't do anything. Like, they'll just, like, kind of, like, stand around and not, like, listen to orders, you know? They're just trying to make it really realistic. <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's their goal. <laughs> I didn't think about that, maybe. So they got a whole building system? Oh yeah, that's what it's all about, is like, you know, building like a castle, basically. But, um, you can also play it so that there's these enemies that'll attack you. And you know me, I'm all about that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. Will our door still fit in there? It like fits on the outside now. I think that still works, right? Uh, I mean, not really. It's just need to be like higher. Then we can do that. All right, let's get them to build that. Let's see if we can get these guys to drop off their armor sets now. No, I still won't do it. Alright, let's see if we can build another one. Maybe that's the issue. My three-year-old loved you building the wall. She said Legos. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, sorry, guys. I missed all your comments when she was in the room. Tactical retreat. There you go, Robert. That's one way of saying it. StarCraft world there. That would all be micro. Your micro management. And then your base management would be, would be like your macro. Sheldon, appreciate it, brother. Oh no, Cassie, I hope you feel better. Let me, uh... Let me grab a cup of coffee really quick. 
I've been putting it off, putting it off, putting it off. I'm gonna leave you guys right here to watch the crystal and the little guys walking by. All right, I'll be right back, guys. Stay with me. All right, I'm back. Chocolate donut and coffee. But just remember, there's a reason for everything in Rhino's world, brother. How are we doing over here? Hmm. Why did they not build? Oh, you know what? They don't have any wood. Get these guys to chop down some trees. Get some excess trees just laying over here. And we also got to keep... Oh, we got tons of blocks. Never mind. We got to keep the iron going. That's what it looks like we need right now. Matthew, what's going on, brother? That's right, Cassie. Delicious. I gotta get some lights built. You gotta collect uh, more of that brimstone. Let's look and see. Alright, 
I'm gonna tell these guys to get some of this brimstone. Shit, we don't have any, um, shit, we don't have any, uh, extra spots. And they never rebuilt this. What the shit? What the shit? Are you guys messing with me right now? Are you guys messing with me right now? What the What the hell? Oh, that's right. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. They did build what we needed. We needed them to get rid of that door. And for some reason, they built a freaking door right there. Enjoy a very late breakfast right now. Yeah, my donut. No, I actually had a bagel this morning, so you could have said that was my breakfast. Uh, I don't know about Raph today, Rob. Maybe. I don't know. GTA tonight. Yep. Maverick, what's going on, brother? We're building, man. Building the castle, brother. It's got to be done. Should just fill those gaps, why not? We're gonna keep that wall going. We're gonna make this a massive castle. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, we got guys ready. Come on, you rock bastard. Matthew, as long as uh, there's police on, that's all what it depends on. Oh, look, they're trying to sneak in the back way. Oh, good lord. Get armor on, guys. Oh, this guy's trapped. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my gosh, drop your block. Oh my god! Come on! Come on! Come on! They're not moving quick enough! Get that armor set! Get over here! Oh no! No! Oh my god, look at this jackass. Oh, I'm gonna carry a block around while we're getting attacked. Put that staff back. It's not completed yet. What else do they need for this? Fabric. Tell this guy... Wait, tell this guy to start making fabric. We need plants for fabric. Good lord, that was... That was a tragedy. We lost two guys. 
Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Wait, we still have their souls over here, I think, actually, maybe. Is this them? Are they back? It's like it never even happened, brother. Alright, gather the iron. I need you guys to get that stuff. All of you guys need to put your, uh... Your sets away. Let's, uh, clean up this. Rest in pieces. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Poor bastards. <laughs> making some rope, making some fabric. that fabric we can make that set so we can get one of the healing guys he can just like shoot magic too mr. clean send in over his viewers mr. clean appreciate the raid brother we're controlling some uh, little brick people block people I don't have that door done. What do we need? Iron. Yeah, we gotta get these guys collecting iron. Oh, the brimstone, the brimstone. Gotta keep that coming in too. Okay. What are these guys called minions? Negative. A lot of micromanagement, absolutely, yeah. But it's cool because in this game, like I said, um, I keep mentioning this because it's the coolest thing. You can you can do this like in a co-op style where more than one person is managing, um, you know, a base. Oh shit, this guy's down here fighting. Get up here. Get an armor set. These guys are going to go build the door right now. We need to get a night set built. Whoa, 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 get out of there.
Bamba bam. Gotta keep these damn guys building. Keep them moving. Nothing to do, my ass. Dig, brother, dig. All right, Matthew, have a good one, brother. We'll catch you later. Nick, yeah, I'm gonna be playing more of that. Uh, appreciate the share too, by the way, brother. Um, I was talking to Khan. He installed that mod last night. He was playing it earlier today. He sent me some screenshots. And I was like, yeah, dude, we gotta get a game going. Did a big massive battle. Come on, dig, 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 keep collecting. that's for the rock. I think that's just for like the trees. We'll try it out and see. I'll try one over here too. Cam, what's going on, brother? Tommy, welcome. Is this game on Steam? Yes, this game's on Steam. There's a link in the video description if you guys want to check it out. Uh, I think it's like 25 bucks. So the breakdown on this game is you can play this a couple of ways. Yeah, Nick, I used to play games like that. With a whole bunch of people. It's a lot of fun. Like I was saying, you could do big free-for-alls, or you can do, uh, like, um, 2v2v2. Or you can split it up. There's different ways you can play them out. It's really a lot of fun. How many can you play when a multiplayer? Hold on. Um... Shit. I don't remember 100%. I know you can have multiple people controlling, like, one, th one thing, though. Shit, 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 shit. We got a knight set right there we can get now, too. We gotta get our guys... ...geared up. Yeah, you can see now he's got a helmet on. Good work, guys. Oh my gosh.
all these freaking weapons, uh, armor sets, or uh, armor racks. How do you get more people? Uh, you get more people, I believe, from kills or mining resources. I forget. There's there's something you can see right down here. Energy. We're building energy, and when you get more energy, you can spawn another guy. Right now, our population is nine of fifteen. I guess we lost two. I still don't understand why uh, it's nine of fifteen because we can't spawn anymore. Maybe that's energy we missed out on that we could have had at some point in time, but we lost it. I don't know. We need to block this off. All right, that'll take care of that for now. We got to get more archers to get the archers up on the walls because look, we got two archer sets there. It's just I hate to pull guys away from that because we got to have them running other stuff. We need these guys to get into the quarry, start mining again. We're starting to get low on bricks. Oh shit, we're getting attacked down at our front gate. wait until somebody comes back, like this guy. Nice work, guys. 
Let's get this door fixed. We're building the castle. Yes. Cassie, that's awesome. Glad you're feeling better. What's going on? Oh my god! What the hell is that thing? Alright, don't panic. Everybody, get, get over here. Drop that load. Cassie, uh, your anxiety might come back here. Sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh, this guy is a freaking giant rock creature. Oh shit, he's not even trying to kill anybody. He's going straight for the crystal? Oh, that's not good. If he destroys that, it's game over. He's, they're fighting. Oh god, this isn't good. Alright, he's dead. He's dead. Never mind. Never mind. It's better. It's better. Alright, we're good. We're, we're looking good. Okay, all right, seriously. That thing looks hungry. <laughs> it looks angry. Yeah, he did make more baddies. He like spawned them in or something. All right, the front gate is looking pretty good right now. We got two guys guarding it. One guy over here, they're working on that. Um, honestly, the thing with the blah 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 blah, the thing that we need more than anything right now is gonna be workers, like actual people. We're gonna need that brimstone over there soon. It's getting low. Is there iron over here too? Yeah, right there. That, that's the only other iron that we're going to be able to get. Someone was attacking the front gate. They're dead now, though. Fight work, fight work. I see a revolution in your future. <laughs> Brother, they can't think that far ahead. These guys are freaking dead eyes right there. We gotta get more of those bows built. And why is this not... Iron, brimstone, planks, fiber. So we've got pretty much everything we need there. I don't understand why it's not building. These guys are gonna build this bridge right here. Oh, look at this attack force coming through the valley.
They're gonna come around and try to attack over there. gonna need backup. How high could you build that wall? I don't know that there's a a, in, a limit. I would imagine you could just keep spiraling it up and up and up and up. Whoa, I guy's body went flying. They don't stop. Once we get this built, they will be able to get around that, that side. So it's like we need to build a wall over here then. Or right here would be the best idea to block it right here. We're going to start getting stretched out here. Let's just block this off. How about it? This is where you can put these... I don't know how this works 100%. I haven't played around with it. There's these wood beams that you can attach So that you can build. Sorry, I'm just, I'm trying to think right now. This has definitely changed. Used to be able to build like a catwalk or a ramp plank. Um, what's what's the word that I'm looking for here? A scaffolding. I can't build that on there. I'm not 100% sure. I can't remember. Doesn't, it'll let me build it there, but not in between. I'm not 100% sure. What is going on up here, though? I hear fighting. Whoa! How the hell did this guy get here? Get out of there, brother. That was weird. Where he came from. They got that built. They're gonna go down there and try to set that up. We should try. We gotta get a lot more archers. That's what we need, man. They just don't seem like they're that strong, though, to be honest. Uh, their attack is not that great. It's like a lot of arrows to put somebody down. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. These guys stopped to fight somebody. Shit. We're gonna have to get these guys set up to just stay in uh, uniform. This is where we're going to start getting stretched thin. If we pull these guys from this wall, we can actually send them over here. Because then they can't get over to that. So that's what we'll do. We'll pull them there. Get this guy out of here. He's about to get killed. Holy shit, that was close. Get this on. 
Whoa, 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 whoa! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Send him down here. This guy's gonna stay. This guy's gonna stay up here. Um. Let's get him to put this away. Chop a tree down. the wall make the stone guys pay for it uh no that's not gold and silver that's brimstone and like iron okay have a good one brother yeah that's the brimstone and then the iron I think we're about to get a massive attack. These guys should be alright. See, there's that wood that we placed. I don't know how you're supposed to use that. Maybe I should watch a tutorial or something. A building tutorial. Yep, we're getting an attack. This dumbass opened the door. <laughs> Peekaboo! <laughs> Peekaboo! <laughs> Keeps opening and stabbing that guy. I haven't gotten a new guy forever. Alright, I'm gonna pull this guy back. Bring him in here. Tell him to put his weapon away. Why are these guys just standing around? Like, what do we need right now? What are we lacking? We've got a ton of iron. We're not really building too many more uh, sets, but we really don't need any more sets. I mean, what do we need right now? More people. I set that as the priority right now. 
Tell these guys to go down here and take this crystal over. There is another crystal right there. Maybe we should tell these guys to go try to take that over. So we conquered that? I would imagine. guys way out in front those knights are slow appreciate it Nick oh shit uh oh uh, I don't know uh, let's go back I think we're outnumbered there guys let's fall back to this point you know now that I think about it they're not gonna be able to get back in that way If we close this off. Run! Alright, make your stand right here. Might need some backup. Oh, we still don't have that completed. Come on, you're killing me, game. What is it that we're missing? I don't understand. It'll tell you what you're missing. Um, fabric. We have fabric. Is it? Oh, we don't have any glass. Why aren't they making glass? Oh, it's all going to shit, boys. Oh, we lost those guys. Oh, it's game over. I made a major tactical error. Oh, my God. No. No. Oh, my God. We got to call him back. Run. Run to the base. Everyone's in trouble. All right. This is what we got to do. Oh, look. We're getting people back, actually. They're giving us some back. All right, everybody come back to the base. We gotta recall everybody. We gotta get armored up. We have like all these half built armor sets. This guy's running for his life. Help me! Help me! <laughs> Dude, get, get, get some armor on. Fight him. Yes, yes. Okay, we're alive still. No, just stay right there, actually. Okay, alright, no problem. We're good, we're good. We lost a lot of stuff right there, it seemed like, but... Definitely poked a bear. <laughs> uh boys. Brother, these guys were lost. I didn't think about it. When you send them to the crystal, it's they, like, spawn, like, enemies to defend it. It's not like it's just, like, vacant. 
That was the uh, the tactical mistake we made there. All right, now we're gonna go do a counter attack. Are you kidding me right now? Oh lord. All right, everybody back to the base. They spawned one of those big freaking rock guys. Trying to zoom in on this guy. Whoa, what the hell? Oh, he's shooting some stuff at my guy. Where the hell is this dude going? Oh no, we just lost a man. No, rest in peace. Biz. There you go, we got the big bastard. All right. Back over here. Are you kidding me? Another big guy? Whoa! Whoa! No! No! I didn't even know that was possible! <laughs> oh my god. Alright, retreat. Everybody retreat. <laughs> That was terrible. Absolutely terrible. <laughs> that guy went flying off the edge. <laughs> oh god, that was horrible. I hope there's no kids watching. Is it just me or does this lighting look way wrong? People are dying right now. I don't even care. I'm pretty sure it's game over. <laughs> Another guy just got flung off the edge, guys. <laughs> that went. Oh, man. That guy is a badass right there, man. This guy is just getting pummeled. Oh, that poor bastard. We've lost several people out here. Oh, it's terrible. Still looks weird. I look like uh, the wrong color. <laughs> Defeat the giant. We just got an achievement for killing that guy. Pretty much smashed open the front right here. Kill killed multiple of our guys. Wharf! We've got Wharf! We cannot lose. <laughs> no, we got two back after losing like six. I think we have four guys, five guys. Oh, here's here's a couple guys running around. Oh, they're working on this lower area. All right, I think I'm gonna take a break from Castle Story. That was fun. It'd be a lot more fun playing with other people rather than just playing solo. 
Oh, so that's why I wanted to do a stream of it just to try to get it out there, see if anybody in the community is interested in this game. And, uh, you know, if anybody else is interested in playing this game, we could definitely uh, start getting some community games going with this, I would imagine. I think you can do PvP uh, as well. So uh, we could have, like, you know, uh, castle versus castle rather than just fighting the NPCs. But it's still a really fun game, and it'd be cool to be able to manage a base, you know, working with somebody else, you know, working together. Where one person could be, you know, we could even split it up. Like, this is this is where I build. This is where I just work on my defense over here, you know, and then another player gets to just work on this defense, and then somebody just gets to maybe maintain uh, the resources and keep everything running smoothly. Because some people like that aspect of it, you know? Some people like the battle aspect of it. So it's kind of cool that you can split it up and do it that way. But uh, yeah, I really like this game. It's a cool ass game. I gotta, I gotta say, I want to give props to it, and that's why I want to do uh, to showcase it to you guys. Uh, save game. Yeah, you know what? We'll save it. Oh shit. Rhino's last hope. Alright guys, that was Castle Story. I hope you guys thought that was pretty cool. I am going to, uh, we're gonna do another game. Stream's not over yet. We're probably gonna be streaming pretty much all day here. Uh, let me go get a drink. I gotta switch up from the coffee. Uh, I wanna probably crack open this bag of beef jerky. I got a brand new bag of beef jerky sitting here. So, uh, yeah, you know. Good stuff. Rhino, uh, favorite. Give me a minute here. We played and beat it. Yeah, dude, the, the second one, Jason, we're waiting for the second one to come out, brother. Uh, and we we beat the hell out of the forest. We definitely beat that game pretty good, man. Uh, we conquered that, the Rhino uh, Squadron, the Rhino uh, Battalion, Regiment, whatever you want to call it. Wow, this is pretty cool. There is uh, my Castle Story game on YouTube. Give me a second here. What we're gonna do right here is go All right, I'll be right back, guys. Hang on. I don't know what I'm gonna play next. I'm not sure just yet. So hang out, and uh, you guys will get to see it momentarily.
Okay, no, I never played Ark. Well, I'll say this. Played about 10 minutes of Ark. Returned it. Waited like maybe a year or two. Bought it again. Played it for 10 minutes. Returned it. That was my Ark. Uh, experience. I don't like to feel, excuse me, I don't like to feel the game. It doesn't, uh, I don't like the movement. I don't know how else to, uh, explain it. Yeah, I don't know how else to explain it. Um, I just don't like the way it feels, the movement and everything like that. Just never was a fan. Nah, I never looked at Watch Dogs 2. I mean, I've looked at it. I just don't know if I'd be interested in it, to tell you the truth. I don't know if that's a Rhino game. I don't know what else we could look at. I was kind of thinking of playing with some spin tires today or Mud Runner, but I don't know. I don't know what I want to do, guys. I kind of want to try something new. But I'm not sure. I just don't know. It's similar to GTA, I've heard that, but a hack tech scale. See, I'm not too into that. I don't know. Tommy doesn't think I'd like it. What do I want to play? What do I want to do? Come on, Rhino. Think. Think, 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 think. I kind of want to play Postscriptum, but I'm 90% sure that game's going to freeze up and not work for me right now. It's just the issues that we're having. Uh, I wouldn't mind playing a game with some some viewers or something. We could go old school and play some Stronghold, Rob says. I don't know if I want to... I don't know if I want to play that style of game just coming out of Castle Story. Like, I was just building a castle. I kind of want to do something else. I don't know though. I don't know what. I'm undecided. Tetris, nice. Cassie has Fortnite. Um, I'll probably never play that game again. Just, just saying. Escape from Tarkov. I mean, I'm not super into that. I like Red Dead too. But I'm not really in the mood for riding around on a horse at the moment, either. Irma, I, uh, I just decided to switch it up. Nick, I've looked at that before. It's kind of just like a silly battle royale type of game. I think actually I might have played it and then uninstalled it. I don't know. Or I watched somebody I know play it. I forget. I don't know.
Hold your own. Single player online co op. Uh, it's probably another dead game. Oh, look at this. You shoot somebody and they turn into a freaking box. Really? Really? You couldn't have did this a little bit better than shooting them and they turn into a box? <laughs> That's one way to do it. show you guys my wish list the Conan game the Conan game is actually really cool uh, that's Funcom Funcom is trying to hire Mrs. Rhino right now believe it or not guys they have been in communication with her uh, several times here in the past few weeks trying to get her to uh, do like uh, tests basically to see if they would want to hire her. I mean, they already do, but they, they still wanted to do the tests. And she's like, look, I don't really have time to do your test. I'm kind of making my own video game, which is probably going to be funded soon. So you guys got to try to make this work for me. <laughs> it's awesome. As soon as Frostpunk is on sale again, I'll get that. I think I saw Mandar playing this the other day. It's a single player game, but it's a really cool concept. It's like uh, there's basically an ice age. It's about to happen. Mankind knows about it, so they start to build like this furnace and they start to build like a city around it. And then winter happens and they're going through an ice age and they're just trying to survive through the ice age. Um, and uh, just, yeah, survive through the ice age, basically. Yeah, cool. Good words, Rhino. You're good talking. Speak. Yes. 100 stars from my man Josh for not playing Fortnite. Right on, man. Thank you. I appreciate that. That's very nice of you. Rob says farm. Jesus says Need for Speed 2. How old is that? Or is that the new one? There is a new Need for Speed out, isn't there? It's annoying in my opinion, just... I'm just shooting random games. What, the cuisine cuisine game? Dying Light? Uh, I never, I never really got into the Dying Light thing. Still waiting for this damn Alaskan truck simulator that's ever going to come out. Oh, Donna Man is actually 30% off right now. I think this is only single player, though. If this was multiplayer, I'd get it. Yeah, I've been watching the, the new dev release stuff about uh, SnowRunner, and I'm really pretty impressed so far from what it sounds like, man. Maps are four times the size of MudRunner maps. Uh, they're also going to be, like, interconnected, so you'll be able to, like, drive through a tunnel, and it'll lead to another map or another region of the map. It all sounds very cool, man. Delivering more than logs. You might be delivering... Um, you might have to deliver supplies to a bridge so that the bridge can be built and then you'll be able to drive over that bridge to deliver stuff even further. It's still only four player co-op, which kind of bums me out. I wish they would have bumped that up to six, especially with the maps being expanded to four times the size, but we still keep the same amount of people. I feel like that should have been bumped up, but it is what it is. <clears throat> This game right here, though, this is another management game uh, where you're managing these people basically out of, like, the Stone Age. You know, you're starting up building, uh, you know, with sticks and stones. So you're building uh, megalithic structures like a tight-knit Stonehenge. Will! Dropping 500! 
500 days as a follower. Did you just hit the 500 day, brother? Thank you for the 500 stars, man. That's awesome. Check out Rabbit Squirrel Gaming for a MP farm. Um, Talking to Rob. I think I've heard of that guy. And there's also the farming corner. It's another guy. This is pretty cool, though. I mean, this is this is definitely a cool little game where you're progressing. It sucks, though, because it's single player. That's the only drawback to that game. got some games on here that aren't out yet firefighting simulator that'll be cool to check out off-road transport simulator lumberjack simulator this is out but I'm waiting until they put in co-op or multiplayer I'm not checking it out until then I'll show you guys really quick um, we do know that it is definitely a possibility to uh, to get the multiplayer into this game because um, people have warned them. They've told them, look, Gold Rush didn't do multiplayer and it killed that game. Don't be like Gold Rush. You know what I mean? So, right here is their roadmap link. Um, right here we go. Multiplayer. So, it is coming. There's going to be construction in the game. You'll be able to uh, to get some building going on. They want to do more forestry. Uh, there's going to be damage for the vehicles. Adding in mods. I'm uh, I'm really excited about the future of this game right here, man. I'm really really hoping that it turns into something epic. So that's one that we're watching right there, guys. Is uh, is definitely going to be this lumberjack simulation game. And they also have this progress board that you can check out. And you can go in here. I had this posted and I was asking people to go on here and vote for the multiplayer. Multiplayer was at 8 before. Now it's up to 18. So there's 10 more votes for that. That's a big idea. That's the most vo voted big idea that they have. So definitely trying to drill home to these game devs that... Uh, Multiplayer needs to be in your game to make this successful as you guys want it to be. But just looking at uh, some of the stuff that they got in here, I mean, right now what they're doing is they're working on these things. Harvesting, crane hitting the ground, sparks, sounds. Um, just trying to make it all a little bit better. Looks like cutting the grass. They got small bugs and things that they're going to work on. Planned work, logging area, purchasing detail, vehicle purchasing. All kinds of stuff, man. And then medium and small ideas, and then the big ideas, which is going to be multiplayer. And that's... That's what I'm excited about. Age of Empires 2. That's really cool, Rob, isn't it? 4K, uh, definite high definition and everything. All right, let me see. One step ahead. I think this will be a cool game to stream. Uh, basically, it's one person who's trying to run from like a group, I think, of four or five guys. Those four or five guys are trying to track down this one person like out in the middle of the woods. And I think they can use like... Uh, Dogs and drones and stuff like that to try to track the person down. Looks really cool. I don't know, man. Now here's a new uh, gold hunter. Look. These guys saw what happened with Gold Rush. That video game Gold Rush. They never put multiplayer into it. It was the biggest complaint about the game. I was just talking about this because of the uh, logging simulator. 
right there in Gold Hunter on their main screen. In the bottom right hand corner, I don't know if you can read that, it says multiplayer right here. But this is not until the fourth quarter of 2021. End of next year. Yeah, Austin, I know, man. That'll make any of those games multiplayer. It's so dumb. This is probably going to be the next VR game that me and Active do right here, guys. I was telling Active... Um, might even be able to do this today. I should get my VR set up. I gotta set my uh, sensors up over here because I can't set them up over here anymore because I got too many screens and monitors and everything. Check this out though. Definitely looks like a cool concept. Old West, Bank Robin, doing heists, co op or solo. You could even do PvP. So, definitely looks like that could be a cool game. Nope, haven't really been back on Outlaws, brother. The game's just a little too dead for me personally. The multiplayer aspect of it. There's nobody out there playing, so there's no... There's no threat. There's nothing really to do in my eyes. Pummel party. This would be kind of cool to get... Uh, get like a Saturday night. Get a whole bunch of people in the community together. And try to play this kind of game. It's almost like... Um, like Mario Party? You guys remember that? I think Ed, Cordite Wrath, I think he's the one that uh, brought this to our attention or recommended this. I was like, yeah, this could be fun. Especially playing it as like a community. We could even try to do something where, um, you know, like we do a giveaway or something for whoever wins. Some kind of bonus or something. I don't know. It'd be kind of cool to do. We have an eight player update apparently. Uh, so yeah, that's a cool one. I, I, guys, I don't know what I want to play right now. So I'm just kind of going through games with you guys. I hope nobody minds. We're all just kind of hanging out here. This void train, this kind of looks interesting to me too. I'll let you guys watch this. So you can see, we're like on this train moving, like this track, moving through like this floating abyss, trying to collect things, kind of like raft. Holy shit. But basically it's moving through uh, like this this area in between like these floating islands. You got to get out 
and like look for stuff and then get back onto the train as it's moving between uh, these areas. It looks pretty interesting to me for sure, especially because it's up to a four player uh, co-op game. So I was like, well, that could be kind of cool to play together. And it does say online PVP. So it'd be interesting to see if something comes from that for sure. What else do we got out here? I'm not sure what this deep space battle simulator is. I added it for some reason. Can't say I remember adding this to my wish list. Why the hell did I add that to my wish list? <laughs> I have no idea what that is all about. Rusty, what's going on, brother? How you doing, man? We're looking at games. I don't know what I want to do right now, so I'm just taking this time to look at some games here with the uh, the chat. I'm showing my wish list at the moment. It's like I got 50 games on here, and I don't even want to like buy any of them at the moment. <laughs> just kind of waiting until they go on sale. What, Plants vs. Zombies? The Walking Dead, what is this? Saints vs. Sinners. Single player game. Oh, it's a VR Walking Dead game? Single player, though. In the flesh, here's a friendly warning. One lone soul to another. The dead ain't the only thing to be fearing in the Big Easy. There is a war brewing, the tower on one side, looming on the horizon, high and mighty, those who claim that the gates are on the other, making everyone's skin crawl with their horror show tactics. And the powder keg that's gonna make the whole city blow? The reserve, disaster relief supplies, and when the flood to end all floods hit, in an old military bunker. It's pretty cool. Give it a ponder to us. You just might be what this sinking city needs to keep his head above water. But then again, maybe you're the type to pull the whole godforsaken place under. Not too bad looking. Is a 
our escape. I see. Where's that at? Where do you buy that at? Probably on EA, I would imagine. <clears throat> mm-hmm. No need for anything except for, uh, what, what was that? Need for spirit. Need for drink. Oh, need for speed shift. Need for speed undercover. Need for speed. Hot pursuit. I'm slobbering all over myself. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. I'm getting excited. Why do I have this ignored? <laughs> 2010. Isn't this like a classic right here? Play as a cop or play as a racer. Can you do that in the new one too? I'm excited. Origin, yeah. Uh, a lot of people have mentioned Borderlands to me. I'm not a... I, I don't know. I don't think I would like Borderlands. That'd be 100%. These are the top selling games right now. Uh, let's look at this by games and look at this as online co-op. Top one, Red Dead. We got it. What is this? Canceled. Conan. I don't know, guys. I'm all tapped out. I am all tapped out. I don't know what to do anymore. I don't know, man. I'm gonna play something. I, I just don't know. Take a nap? That sounds like a good idea. Should I take a stream nap? People, <laughs> people turn on the stream. It's just me. Sleeping. Which is World of Warships, World of Warships. I don't know if I'm gonna ever return to that game, to tell you the truth, man. I think I might be done with that. I'm just not in the mood for that that style anymore. I really don't know, man. I'm really having a hard time, guys. I I just you know, I really feel like I really wanna play something. I just don't know what. Don't do Mud Runner if you're tired. I know. I already thought about that, and I was like, I'm gonna be falling asleep if I try to play Mud Runner or ATS or something right now, or Farming Sim. Any of those relaxing games are gonna put me to sleep. That's why I had to switch it up from Castle Story because I was starting to feel like I was getting tired. I gotta do something with a little more action going on. Uh, I kind of like to check out the Postscriptum again, but I'm 90% sure that this is gonna freeze on us. Um, can you spell? William says construction sim. That's another one of those games that I probably just, uh, I'll snooze on right now. You sound like you need to run and gun like Call of Duty, fast paced. Honestly, yeah. I mean, I'm not really... Uh, typically a fan of that style of first-person shooter, but sometimes you need that, man. You need that action. <laughs> the 
Now, this isn't a fast run and running gun type of game either, but going on at least explosions and you know rounds going off constantly. So, PUBG that might be that's that is doable, but I'd have to have some people to play with. I wouldn't want to jump into it solo. Oh my gosh. Why am I not joining position? Okay, now I'm joining. Never mind. I, I had squad and I returned it. I didn't... I'm not really a fan of squad. Um, I know a lot of people are like, Oh, it's, it's fast-paced. It's good. But when I played it, it was very slow and drawn out. There was like 15 minutes of like setting up. Asphalt to the car racing game? I'm not sure which one that is. Also says I might get on Red Dead 2. Nah, I don't think. I don't think I'm gonna play Red Dead today. No, no, I played it like a lot. Yesterday. Shit, are you kidding me right now? I can't join a squad. The only thing I can do is join logistics. <clears throat> They're gonna give me a car. Nope, that's it. Yep, done. Froze up. They gotta fix that game, man. I see a lot of people in the forums saying that they're having the same issue. That you get into the game server. And you're in there for about a minute and then it freezes up. And that's literally what it is. It's basically Hell Let Loose, yeah. It's it's very similar to Hell Let Loose, but I almost kind of like it better than Hell Let Loose. So yeah, that one uh, right now has got some kind of a, an issue going on with it. After a minute for a lot of the players, it freezes up. A lot of players, it doesn't. You can see there's, there's hundreds of people out there playing right now, no issues, but... Some people just aren't able to play it right now, for whatever reason. Timmy's gone, brother. Timmy's Timmy's dead. He's long dead and buried. Now, there is a sequel coming to The Forest, apparently. It's called Children of the Forest. I will be checking that out, 100%. As soon as that's out, they gets out. We'll do, we'll jump into the day that, but uh, I don't know what to do right now. I hate to keep the stream going because it's just me sitting here talking. I'm just looking through the list to see if there's anything that stands out. It's like, oh yeah, 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 this game. I haven't played, you know. Mm -hmm. There's nothing really jumping out at me. Oh, Lord, help me. You get Need for Speed Heat. It's a good game. It does look pretty cool. Put Buddy on camera? I don't know where he is. I don't know where he went. Luna's back there behind me. Uh, I hate to do it, guys, but I guess I'm just going to end the stream and try to figure out what I'm going to do and then start a stream up from there because otherwise I'm just going to sit here being like, uh, I don't know what I want to do. 
So, I guess I'll figure it out off, uh, off stream. What about that game you... You till zombie you kill zombies in at night and loot homes. Seven days to die. I really like seven days to die. It's just um I don't know how to explain it, brother. There's just something there. It's just I I don't know. It gets too long and drawn out. All right, I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure out something here. I gotta, I gotta come up with a game that I'm gonna play. I don't know what it's gonna be, but I wanna try to get a stream going here. So let me, let me get this ended. I'm gonna try to figure out what I'm gonna do, and then I'm gonna get another uh, stream started uh, with the name of what I'm gonna be playing, hopefully, or it'll be random games with Rhino. I don't know. I'll see you guys soon though. I appreciate everybody coming out and watching the stream here. I'm sorry that it was kind of boring, but I really appreciate all the support, guys. Thank you so much. I will catch you guys soon.